every day he has duties of like waking my granny up, setting the bed right, but making sure that she had a meals. After my grandmother died, he sort of lost his daily routines or his uh, responsibilities. So he felt like he was doing nothing. And the only thing that he was really doing was waking up just to have his meals and going back to sleep. He was starting to forget things and he would get frustrated when he forgot most of the things uh, over time. He couldn't express himself, so after a while he didn't want to express himself anymore. When we asked him how he feels, he just said, I'm okay. But we couldn't really unearth why he was the way he was. Dad wasn't really close to the dog when uh, he was caring for Grams, but uh, as time went by, I think uh, he, he placed a lot of uh, uh, love and affection for the dog. He started talking to the dog in a very intimate setting. I mean, he, he would relate his emotions to the dog. So over time, he became the primary caregiver for Patches. Every time she did a business, he would go in and clean it. He would put the new papers on it. He would make sure that um, that place was uh, smelling great. Dad would also take her out for walks and that would allow him to engage with the community outside instead of just the homes. From this experience, I realised that um, it really helped my dad in terms of uh, him opening up, um, trying to be a happier person and after talking to people, he starts sharing stories. He starts sharing stories of patches. So having ownership of a pet allowed my dad to actually have a purpose again. There was something great for us. When I came back, Dad was telling me that Pectus uh, walked up to him, put her legs on his lap, and actually somewhat said like a bye-bye to my dad. I thought that was, that was a very powerful thing because Dad could feel. And, and I'm saying this because um, beyond that, we wanted to get another pet for, for Dad. Uh, but, but what a powerful statement he made to me was that he could no longer love another pet the same way he loved Pectus. He used to like to clean up this 3x3 three three meter spot where Patches used to do a business. I thought, hey, you know what? Uh, my toilet was the same size. So, so I'd say, Daddy, I think uh, it might be good if you could mop the toilet a couple of times a day, make sure it's dry so that, um, you know, it, it, it reduces the, the tendency to, to have a fall because you're not only doing it uh, for yourself, you're doing it for me, you're doing it for mummy as well. So by doing all these little chores and duties, it sort of helped him to pass time faster. So that gave him that level of uh, 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 independence and, and allowed him to even start to plan his own timing. Offering uh, a person with dementia the idea of responsibility, the idea of uh, a role to play, idea of uh, ownership of something, idea of uh, a possibility of a routine, it enables them, it empowers them.